Hello and welcome back to 3411 Heaven. It's Jack here and I've stolen the channel from Dave again. Today we're going to be unboxing the Noctua D15S CPU cooler, the younger, more compatible brother of the D15. S comes in an ugly box, assuring you that you have indeed purchased a product worthy of an adult, while also making you question what tech aid you're currently living in. I purchased the D15S over the D15 because of its focus on compatibility. With a height of 160 millimeters, including the fan, it is the maximum height cooler that my case will fit. They've also removed some fins on the bottom of the cooler so that you won't run into any RAM clearance issues. The D15S is well packaged with solid foam on every side. Inside the box, there are two more boxes. The smaller of the two contains instructions and mounting hardware, while the larger one contains the cooler itself. This cooler comes with mounting hardware that is compatible with the LGA 1150 series, LGA 20 series, and AM4 sockets. Noctua also pretty much says that if you have a socket that they didn't provide hardware for, send them an email and they'll take care of you. I personally didn't have my stock AM4 backplate with me and they sent one over free of charge. Noctua also include their NTH1 thermal paste, which apparently is pretty good, and make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss our comparison between the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo and the D 15s on my Fern, uh, I mean Ryzen 9 3900X. We also get a few bonus items inside the box, a Noctua sticker that is just as well constructed as their cooler, and a long screwdriver for installing the cooler itself. Now if you're into long screwdrivers and well constructed stickers, you can check out the cooler using the link down below the like button. Opening up the box that contains the cooler reveals an absolutely massive amount of metal, like seriously, this thing is massive. I had mentioned compatibility earlier, and now we get a look at another compatibility focused feature of this cooler. The heat pipes and fins are offset to one side to give that first PCIe slot some breathing room. With a cooler this big, I will take all the room I can get. Now here's a quick size comparison between the D15S and the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, the RGB Black Edition. Just looking at sheer size, I cannot imagine things are going to look pretty for the Evo in the comparison video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the installation guide and comparison video. There will be glorious graphs and delicious data. Bird out.